Page and it's where the hoop throw high. The window had it something good. He went up over the top of his defender. Right wing Clifford with a ball pick. Drives his way on his way to the hoop. Reverse layup with a left hand is up and good. Right. Pulls up for three. Right between the eyes from downtown. Well, there's some highlights. It was a pretty competitive ball game, but the bus fell behind the second half before they end up losing to the Utes of Utah. The first to the rumble in the Rockies. Back in the stampede here at Corelli's. Voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. Monday nights are out here from 7 until 8 o'clock for our Buffs primetime radio show on the Colorado Basketball Network. And we caught up with head coach Tad Boyle talking about the game in Salt Lake City. The Utah game. Here we got the, the full week off last week. You go and play Utah. Yep. You and I were kind of joking with each other when we were doing pregame about uh, the way these two teams play defense. And I said, what do you think, 45, 43, something along those lines? It didn't quite turn out that way. No, it didn't. Uh, one defensive team showed up. That was Utah. Yeah. But uh, we did not. Um, and it was it was a little disappointing because I thought uh, – we matched up pretty well with them, even though they've got some really good players. And and the one thing about Utah, you forget, and and I, you know, I sometimes I forget it. But you know, Brandon Carlson, who's a terrific, he's playing like an all league guy. But they've also got you know Marco Anthony, who's, you know, as you look at his numbers, they're not that great. But then you look at his career; he's in his seventh year of college. Wow! And he looks, you know, you saw him. He's a grown man. He is a grown man. He is. He 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 played on Virginia's national championship team, which was what four or five years ago. Yes. And uh, he goes to, and then you know there are a lot of those kids that go to Utah have been on missions. Um, and again, I don't know which ones have, which one haven't. You know, you just watch film and you you coach against their team this year. But they they had a uh, physically they were bigger and stronger than us. They were tougher than us, which really bothers me. You know, as you go back and watch the tape, I thought they won the toughness battle. Um, and so those are things we've talked about, you know, with our team. And, you know, we we, we didn't charter that trip, so we came back commercially yesterday. And, and with the new NCAA rules, you, you can't take a travel day as your off day. So we watched film yesterday. You know, when we got back, JR's team was playing, and uh, they had that game well under control. We went in the film room and tried to get better. Um, and learn, and, and we'll see. Uh, you know, we we'll get another crack at them when they come back at the end of the end of the uh, regular season. But uh, disappointing game from the standpoint that I just didn't think we played uh, as well as we're capable of playing. And you know, we've become really dependent upon Tristan De Silva and and KJ Simpson to some degree. And and they took Tristan out of the game with double teams, and uh, we weren't able to step up. Yeah, I thought you did a good job on the post game of making a differentiation, but it'll have to do the same thing yeah. here. So. You say we weren't the tougher team. They, they, you know, we're tough enough yeah. in that ball game. But you said we competed. Help everybody understand what, what you mean. Yeah. So you know, look at the as, as the game went on. You know, we went to a full court press with about ten minutes to go. We're down twelve, and and our guys kept battling and they kept trying and they kept competing. But we just we didn't win the 50-50 balls. If there was a loose ball or a long rebound, we didn't come up with it. Utah came up with it. And to me, that's toughness had opportunities to, uh, when they were attacking the basket, to take charges or go vertical. Uh, verticality, which is a new uh, term in college basketball for over the last four or five years. We practice it, we we drill it, and uh, we, we kind of bailed out. And you know, Carlson got a wide open dunk. So those are the things that, you know, I want our players to understand. Like, those are toughness plays that we have to make possession after possession after possession and the comp competitive part when you're playing hard and you're scrapping you're every, that's the price of admission you know, everybody does that and look our teams there's no quitting our team there's no doubt about it we're just not tough enough at the time we need to be tough and Utah was and that's why they won the game yeah. you, you talk about uh, Tristan being kind of taken out of this one mm -hmm. and when he ended up with uh, four points when it was all said and done I think but yeah. uh, I'll be working six. He ends up with six points, but the time was all said and done. Shooting numbers were down. What were they doing to, to kind of? Well, they, they, we, you know, after it's, it's funny, Mark, after every media timeout, I ran a play for Trist. You know, one was to try to get him a three point shot, one was to try to get him a post up, one was trying to get him, you know, an isolation, you know, because he's the guy that, 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 you know, is playing the best for us right now on a, on a consistent basis. So, um, in the post, they would double him. When he got anywhere close to the basket, they would double him. And we were doubling Carlson as well. Yeah. Carlson was the same way, but they were able to take Carlson out of the or uh, they were take, able to take Tristan out of the game. We weren't able to take Carlson out of the game. Part of it is he's seven foot, 
Uh, the other part is our guys' rotations were not good in our double team, and and uh, they just did a better job than, than we did. You know, it's funny. They did to us that what everything we want to do to our opponents. They held us to 37% field goal percentage. Yep. They out-rebounded us by 12. That's exactly what we want to do, hold the other team to less than 40% and out-rebound them by eight or more. Uh, they beat us at our own game, and that's that's a little disheartening. Um, but that's where we are. That's what happened, and you got to live with it. Well, there's the head coach of the Buffaloes, Tad Boyle. He and the Buffs looking for answers down the stretch one of the season. They've got five games remaining. In fact, they're on the road against the Arizona schools this weekend. As we come to you from Corelli's for Buffs Primetime every Monday night from 7 until 8 o'clock. Coming up next, our player guest, Javon Ruffin, will join us.